Welcome back to a little segment we like to call No Breaks, which is brought to you, of course, by Essex Parts. I'm John Boucher. Here with me is Jeff Ritter, who is the Essex Parts man in the office, who's answering these questions on the forums. He knows the stuff. And, and one of the things that came up recently was the different types of applications that people get these brake kits for and really how to assess that application. So, I mean, we're talking about daily driving, we're talking about uh, autocross, time trials. I mean, there's a lot of different ways, but let's, if we can, let's try to touch on each of them. Let's start with the daily driving. Yeah, daily driving, um, people say, hey, what do I need for daily driving? Do I need a big brake kit? The answer is for a big brake kit, no. Um, but there are some modifications you can make. Um, daily driving is really about safety, a one-stop situation. Um, it's not necessarily, there aren't a lot of heat issues related to it. So, um, so something like a stainless steel brake line will give you a little more feel, uh, a pad, compound change would give you a feel change you know you could you have a might have a better pedal or like the way it feels or you might if you wanted lower dust or less noise something like that you can make those types of changes but right. in terms of actual performance for daily driving it's not a big deal um, the brakes from the factory you can usually get you from point a to point b to get get what you need done um, when these things start to come in more into play is whenever uh you say, hey, on the weekend, though, I'm going to go out and I'm going to go to the canyons in right. Malibu and blast around, or I'm going to go out on a country road somewhere um, and rip around a little bit. Now, that changes things a bit because uh, it's no longer just, you know, low speed stops. You're going to be going faster, and you're going to be stringing some corners together where you're getting on the brakes. So then, right. then that's when the upgrades really come into kind play. Kind of one a click more. up. Yeah, yeah, so like a little notch up. And in that case, the brake pad is going to be the thing that changes your feel and experience the most under that type of situation. Right. Um, you're going to get more heat capacity out of it. You'll it'll resist fade more. So when you're pouring more heat into it, you don't have to worry about that type of thing. Um, fluid. You're probably never going to boil fluid on the street just driving around, even if you're in canyons, right. that sort of thing. Brake lines will help you a little bit with the feel. Um, a lot of people always say, "Hey, should I get some drilled discs or slotted discs?" At that stage, that's really not going to do anything for you, just right. driving around. I mean, the idea between behind a slot or a drill hole is to give the pad more bite, but the difference isn't really that great, to be honest. Um, so I'd say save your money on that one if you're going to be doing just, you know, spirited driving on the street. If you need new discs and yours are cracked or worn thin, that sort of thing, at that time and you want slotted or drilled discs, then great, and, you know, go right. ahead and buy some. But it's not something, if your discs are fine now, you don't throw those away to get slotted or drilled discs. It's not going to do much for you. Right. Um, well, one of the things I think we've seen become more and more popular is autocross. Yeah. So, you know, you go from daily driving or weekend mm -hmm. driver to something like we'll really turn it up with autocross. Mm -hmm. What components are we looking for in an autocross application? Autocross is interesting because a lot of it is uh, rules driven. So, in some classes, you can make some changes. In others, you're very, very strictly limited on what you can actually do to your brake system. So the big thing, though, with autocross is really feel. Um, you're, you're talking about hundredths or tenths of seconds whenever you're in right. autocross, and every little bit of feel counts when you go into a turn or you're trail braking and you want to rotate the car. Um, those things like pad compound choice or slots on your brake disc or brake lines where, where it's going to enhance the feel, those are all very helpful for autocross. Also, um, something we haven't really talked about is a two-piece disc upgrade. I'd say in terms of that as an option for autocross, the big value there is unsprung weight reduction. So usually one of our two-piece disc kits, right. um, let's say you have a, a you know, whatever it may be, a Porsche 991 GT3, and you want to save some unsprung weight, that's when a two-piece disc is going to bring some value if you're allowed to do that for the right. rules. Uh, as far as a big brake kit, again, huge opportunity to lower unsprung weight, but it just depends on your class. If you're allowed to get a big brake kit, and, um, you know, our, our Subaru BRZ Sprint brake package saves 10 pounds per front corner of unsprung weight, and guys are out there autocrossing them, that is a big noticeable difference sure. uh, that's going to impact your performance in an autocross. So autocross, you know, it's not really heat. Again, it's you're not hitting those speeds where the heat is a huge issue, right. but feel is very important, and unsprung weight is also very important. And, and weight equals horsepower. Exactly. So Now, so we go from autocross, and, and if you're in that competitive field in, in racing, you also have time trials, you've got wheel-to-wheel. -wheel. Mm -hmm. What's different about that? Yeah, well, that, those uh, driver's education, HPDE, 
a time trial event, anytime when you're on the clock on the racetrack or wheel to wheel racing, I sort of lump those together. There's a wide range of, you know, how many laps you'll be doing, how long you're out, out there. But any of those environments where you're out on a racetrack, you're hitting much higher speeds. And the big thing is you're, you're going into brake zones over and over right. without a lot of time to cool down. Right. Now that is when all of these, the, the bigger upgrades really come into play. That's right. when a two-piece disc becomes extremely valuable because it's gonna run a lot cooler, it's gonna cut down your consumable costs, uh, and then the big brake kit, that's when you have to seriously take a look and say, all right, I'm throwing all these parts at the OEM components, right. I'm just burning them up, blowing them up, you know, throwing them away. I really need to think about long term why I'm doing that and how is this going to help me. Right. So anytime when you get to the racetrack, a full road course and heat is an issue, that's when all of these other type of upgrades are really going to help you out. That's where that comes into play. The other thing that comes into play is you know some things we've covered in some other uh, videos in this no break segment in your four C's. Yeah. I mean when I think about time trials and and I think about wheel to wheel, I think about the four C's. Give us a quick rundown of that again. Yeah, I mean consistency. You know, when you get this type of equipment on the car, same same feel, same performance, repeatable all day long, same on the first stop of the day as it is on the very last stop in the last session of the day. So in terms of cutting time out of your laps, that is huge. And right. it's just one less thing you got to worry about. Um, confidence comes along with it. Right. That's the second C. You know, you're going to be more confident. You're going to be out there. You're going to be aggressive. You're going to be setting faster times. Convenience, you know, you don't have to mess with it. Pad changes are easy. You aren't right. bleeding it in between sessions. And then cost, again, you aren't throwing consumables at it all the time. You aren't changing your pads constantly or cracking your disc constantly. So uh, those four Cs really come into play in that environment. Very cool. Well, that's a little uh, segment on, you know, really the application and different applications um, that these break, big brake kits will be helpful for. So that's another segment of No Brakes brought to you by Essex Parts. I'm John Boucher. Jeff Ritter. And if you need any other questions answered, you can always call uh, the phone number there at the office. 704-824-6030, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out the website, it's EssexParts.com. And we'll see you for another segment of No Breaks.